Hey everyone, this is Judy with JLB Crafts. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thank you so much for giving me a try. Today I'm going to plan um, the last remaining recipe I need for Thanksgiving, which is um, how to make keto gravy. Um, and I'm just gonna make this a generic gravy recipe um, so you can really make it with any flavor. Um, I brined my turkey. Here's my turkey brine recipe. So the drippings from a brined turkey, if you're going to try this, are super salty. The turkey isn't salty. The turkey tastes amazing. But the drippings have a lot of salt. So you can't, and there aren't many drippings because it stays up in the turkey, making it a nice juicy turkey. Um, so if you're going to brine your turkey, the only drawback is that you will need to use um, chicken or turkey broth to make gravy instead of using the drippings. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the gravy recipe in my miscellaneous section along with these other um, Thanksgiving recipes so they're all together and they're easy to find. So first thing I'm gonna do, and all the recipes in my book, I will link um, the flip through. I did a nice slow flip through so that um, you all could see everything. Um, but the, every recipe in my cookbook is keto. My husband and I have been keto or uh, low carb since 2015. Um, so it goes without saying I don't put it in the title all the time because all my recipes are keto. So this is going to be... Um, I will go ahead and write it. Since just writing gravy is pretty short, I'm going to go ahead and put keto up here. But you could do this with beef broth, chicken broth, um, vegetable broth, any kind of broth. I, I wrote gravy wrong um, in a video I did a couple days ago. I was doing my plan for Thanksgiving and um, <laughs> I spelled gravy wrong. I had a little uh, brain hiccup there. So, this, by the way, this is a friction marker pen. I will link these in the description. I love these. Just don't, um, they erase super cleanly. Um, just don't put them too close to a heat source because that's how they erase. It's the, the heat from the friction. So, um, there are a lot of ingredients in the gravy recipe because you want to build those complex flavors, but there aren't a lot of steps. So this is going to be a great opportunity to have fun with some boxes. So this page um, is got a green, greenish lime color background, and I always like to pair peachy pinks with green. So I have a couple different um, colorful boxes, books. Um, I'm looking for squarish boxes, um, about three of them. So I'm going to get to the peaches and pinks. Here we go. I think this one. Um, and I encourage you to have fun with your boxes. Um, when you do boxes, have fun with it. Um, turn them in an unexpected direction. Um, so what I'm going to, thinking I want to do, I hope there, I want a square one, a square-ish one. Um, this book doesn't actually have square, ooh, it's got a, a hexagon, a big hexagon in the right size, or in the right color. I don't think I have any peachy pinks left, especially in square in this book. Um, that's not the right shade of pink anyway, here we go. Yeah, no, I've used... I don't really want a rectangle. Um, all right, we're gonna go with the hexagon. So what I thought I would do is start with this one here in the corner. And then go with the hexagon and just snug it kind of right up into that space. I guess the, the diagonal doesn't work exactly right, but that's okay. If I put that one there, and then I turn this one kind of this way. I guess I, I really do kind of need a square for this. Um, I could get my other copy. Let me grab another copy of that book. Here we go. Here we go. Now if I turn this one 
this way, then it really matches up exactly with that um, cutout. Uh, I think I like the hexagon. It's unexpected. I just got to figure out how I want to turn it. I could turn them like this. Maybe I'll do that. If, if I can peel this one up. Because like I said, I really have... I didn't put it on wax paper, but since I just recently put it down, um, it peeled up okay. So if I go like this and then put the other one upside down. That's kind of fun. Let's do that. Even though it's kind of hard to write with this on a, a point. Um, and that is so not straight. Okay. And actually, I think, let's see. Let's go ahead and run a little bit diagonal. If I put this one here, yeah, that's I like that. And then we'll put this one here. There we go. Okay, that's all the boxes I need. Um, I need to move that center one, though. It's not evenly spaced between the two. Superman. <laughs> Looks like the Superman kind of... <laughs> I just want it, this to be centered between the two a little bit better. And straight, of course, it's got to be straight. There we go. That's a little better. Okay, so um, one of my favorite things to do is use the bullet points for the ingredient lists, especially the ones that are kind of awkward to write on. Um, so I thought I would use these. They're little asterisks. Um, I went through a phase relatively early in my happy planning where I... Um, decided to separate my sticker books and I ended up not keeping that but there are some remnants of that um, and bullet points are one of them so I have a few sheets of bullet point type stickers that are easy for me to just grab for tasks like this all right um, so I used a brown pen up here so I'm going to use a brown pen to write out everything else. Soy aminos are a um, all-natural alternative to soy sauce. Um, no MSG or anything in them. Um, I prefer to sub those in whenever I can for um, a salt component. A typical convention in cookbooks is to write the ingredients in the order that your recipe calls for them. Um, and in this one, I need to put a teaspoon of xanthan gum, which is a no-carb thickening agent. Um, and then you're going to uh, adjust the seasoning with the salt and pepper to taste. And lots of times when you get recipes off of Pinterest or you're writing your own recipes, um, you have to stop and think and make sure you put the ingredients in the right order. And then down here I like to put um, the times and everything in back in my fat marker pen. And then since this is keto, I like to put the approximate number of carbs in each serving. Um, and in this case, it is one. I, I don't know that I would ever eat quite that much gravy. 
All right, so the next thing I want to do is just go ahead and write in the, the instructions. Um, basically, you're going to add almost everything to a saucepan, simmer it, <laughs> and then thicken it, and then taste it and adjust it. So pretty easy. That's why I can get away with just using the boxes. And I'm going to use a black pen to just draw a little squiggly arrow to just reinforce the order that these steps take place in. All right, and then lastly, I'd like to add a note in the notes section. Um, but I, th I think what I want to do, I think I'll go ahead and just add one more bullet point there to bring the color to as much of the page as possible. And that way, if there's more than one note, you can denote that, denote the notes <laughs> with the um, multiple bullet points. In this case, I only have one, um, and that is if you're using giblets. Uh-oh, my pen is dying. Oh, no. I need to find another brown pen. This is a thinner brown pen. This is a um, 0.7 and this is a 0.38 but it's the only other brown pen I have so hopefully it's not too noticeable. All right. This is what we have. Now the fun part, we get to decorate. So um, I'll be right back. I forgot to pull my decoration, my food books. So let me grab those. All right, so I pulled a bunch of stickers. Um, I actually ordered a bunch of stickers off of um, Etsy a while back. So I will link these in the description box. But I wanted to go ahead and put um, this little pi picture, picture of cream on there because the recipe does have cream in it. Um, and a chicken, why not? Because I'll probably end up using chicken broth. I don't know if I can find turkey broth, um, but I think it'll go just fine. And then I pulled a variety of food books just to see if there was anything in there um, that fit with the decorating theme. <clears throat> not really anything in there food book. This one is falling apart. I have used this so much. There's no garlic or onions or anything like that in this book, unfortunately. That favorite sticker is too big. Fruit. Pie. need a gravy boat. Made with love. I like that. Homemade. seeing a gravy boat. So, ooh, that's a good one. The cooked turkey. Um, is there one of these? That's. I've been kind of staying away from the gold, but I gotta put that on here. I gotta. I thought one of these had a gravy boat in it. We'll see if we find it somewhere. I don't want to put it too close to the chicken, so I think I'll put it over here. That's a more of a pitcher than a gravy boat. I 
think there was a is there a yum family favorite that's good and then we'll go ahead and put a yum on there as well So like I have the two words here and now I have two words here so it kind of balances without looking too matchy matchy. Not a gravy boat. <laughs> I could put a plate, place setting on there, or a grocery bag. Nope. All right, one last book. We'll look through the recipe book, make sure there's nothing I can use in there. I think there's a whisk in here that would be fun to put on here since whisking is actually pretty important yep whisking's pretty important on this one um, I think I'll use the green uh, let's put it over here and then I talk about um, coating the back of a spoon so let's go ahead and use a spoon especially since it kind of matches the colors There we go, that's looking pretty good. If I can't find anything else, I think that'll be okay. I I wish this didn't say milk, um, but I think I might, I think I might go ahead and use it anyway. And I really need butter stickers. I need, a, I need butter stickers, Happy Planner. I use a lot of butter. No gravy boats. I thought there were gravy boats somewhere. I think I'll just throw a couple hearts on there to um, finish it off. Celebrate, that's good. And yes, I am totally um, writing this as if it were for Thanksgiving. So I don't want to put this green, the outline on this is green, so I kind of, I don't want to put that on the green. So I'm going to put it over here. And let's find something that's not green for that spot. I'm just going to stick a red one on there, why not? There we go. Alright, that is good enough. Let's put it back in my recipe book and there you have it recipe for keto gravy to go with your brined turkey I hope you like this video I hope it inspires you to go ahead and try writing some of your own recipes if you did please consider liking and subscribing thank you